Hey everyone, this is Steven Robles, and today I want to show you three really simple shortcuts automations that you can set up right now on your iPhone. It'll probably take you like 30 seconds each, and I really think you'll love them. They're really useful. And if you're looking for more shortcuts, I would recommend Matthew Casanelli's website. I'll put a link below. He's got like 500 shortcuts you can download for free. But here are just three quick automations that I use on my iPhone that I think you'll really love. So first we're going to open the shortcuts app here on our iPhone and go over to the automations tab. Hit the plus button at the top. I'm going to create a personal automation. All three of these are personal automations. So the first automation I want to do is I want my phone to automatically go into low power mode once my battery goes below a certain percentage. So you can choose an automation here for battery level and you can choose what percentage you want. Maybe you want low power mode to start at 20%, maybe 25%. And so once battery level falls below 25%, I'll hit next. And then all you have to do is type in the search box down here for low power, and you see set low power mode as an option, I'm just going to tap that, and I'm just going to turn low power mode on. That's it. That's the only step you have to do. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to uncheck this toggle right here where it says asks before running, because I don't want to have to interact with it at all. I just want it to automatically go into low power mode, and I don't even have to think about it. So I'm going to turn off that toggle. I'm going to confirm, don't ask, and then I'm going to hit done. Now my phone, whenever that battery percentage goes below 25%, Low power mode will automatically turn on, help you save a little bit of battery life. So that's number one. Number two, I keep my iPhone in rotation lock. If you're not familiar with rotation lock, when you swipe down from the top right to get to control center, this little lock icon will prevent your iPhone from rotating. So for instance, I'm gonna turn off rotation lock and I'll show you what I mean. Let's say I'm reading a website, especially in bed, and I happen to turn my phone over. A lot of times I might not intend for it to go sideways. I don't want it to do that. So a lot of times I turn on rotation lock and now it won't turn sideways ways even when I move my phone. But one place you want rotation to be enabled is when you're showing pictures. If you go into your photos app and you're trying to show someone a picture and they try to rotate your phone, they're going to get frustrated. They don't know why it's not rotating. Maybe they're not familiar with rotation lock. So here's a quick automation to solve that. I'm going to hit the plus button one more time in the automations tab and shortcuts. I'm going to create a personal automation and the trigger for this automation is actually going to be when an app opens. So I'm going to scroll down and go to app and I choose what app I mean. So I'm going to search for photos. When I open the photos app, you'll see the steps are. So when app photos is opened, I'm going to hit next. And then I'm just going to search in the search box down here for rotation lock. I'm going to do set orientation lock. And instead of toggle, I've set it as toggle before. This way you can only have one automation. But I'm going to specifically say I want rotation lock to turn off when I open the app and turn back on when I close it. So I'm going to turn rotation lock off when photos is open. And that's it. One step. Again, I'm going to uncheck the ask before running because I want it to happen automatically. And I'm also going to keep off the notify when run. I know it's running in the background. I'm setting up this automation, so I don't want to get a notification for it. So I'm going to hit done. So now I'm going to go back to my home screen, and I'm going to turn rotation lock on. So this is how I usually have my iPhone by default. Rotation lock is on. But I'm going to open the Photos app, and it'll actually have just turned off rotation lock. I'm not even going to look. Let's just see. I turn my phone, and look. It rotated the photo just like I meant it to. And so rotation lock is now off because I opened the Photos app. If I swipe down, you'll see rotation lock is off. Now I'm going to add one more automation because when I exit the Photos app, I want rotation lock to turn back on. So I'm going to hit the plus button, create personal automation, scroll down to app. I'm going to choose the app. I can search for Photos. And I'm going to do when Photos is closed. Only when it is closed, search again for that rotation lock. So set orientation. I'm not going to do toggle. I'm going to say turn orientation lock on. I want it to lock once again when I close the app. Again, I don't want it to ask me before running or notify me. I know it's running in the background. So now you'll see rotation lock. Let's turn it on now. So rotation lock is on. I'm going to open the photos app and you'll see rotation lock is now off. So I can look at a photo. I can rotate my phone. No problem. And it's still off, but when I exit the Photos app, let's see what it did. Now rotation lock is back on, and I don't have to worry about my phone rotating again like when I'm in Safari or something like that. So really useful. Now whenever I just open the Photos app, rotation lock will turn off so I can turn my phone sideways. And when I exit the Photos app, 
rotation lock turns back on. Really cool. Now this last automation actually works in conjunction with an Apple Watch. So if you have an Apple Watch, this would really be helpful for you. And if, especially if you use it for working out, even if you're not working out very often. So I'm gonna set up an automation that actually changes my Apple Watch face to one that I really have all of my health and fitness stats in one face. And it will enable that watch face whenever I start a workout, either on my watch or from Siri, or if I do Apple Fitness Plus on the Apple TV. This is the watch face I'm automatically going to enable. It has my activity for the day. I can get quick access to blood oxygen, heart rate down at the bottom, and then I have my workout shortcut right there at the top. And I can also make sure my cellular is on. Like if I'm going for a walk or outside, I wanna check the cellular connectivity of my Apple Watch. I have that there. So you can adjust whatever Apple Watch face you want specifically for workouts, but this is what mine looks like. Now, if we want this watch to appear whenever we start a workout, we once again, we go to the Shortcuts app, Automations tab, hit the plus icon, create a personal automation. I'm gonna scroll down and choose Apple Watch Workout. So Apple Watch Workout, Workout Type, any workout. I want this face to appear whenever I do any kind of workout, but you can specify different watch faces, whether you're doing a walking outside workout or a weight training workout. So you can have multiple watch faces, but I'm gonna do any workout and I'm gonna do when it starts. I'm gonna hit Next, then I'm gonna search for Set Watch Face. These are all one-step shortcuts. So I'm gonna set watch face. Now you do have to remember which watch face you chose because you can't really like name a watch face a custom name. That would be a great update for watchOS if you're watching Apple. <laughs> but I'm gonna go down and I know that that particular health watch face was the infograph modular, this second to last one I have right here. So I'm gonna choose that watch face. I don't want it to show and run because I want it to happen automatically. I'm gonna hit next. Again, I'm gonna turn off ask before running. I don't want it to ask or notify me, I just want it to happen automatically. Now whenever I start a workout on my Apple Watch, it's gonna change my watch face to that really health specific one. Now you could add another one. Let's create a personal automation, Apple Watch workout, and let's say when it ends. So when my workout ends, I want it to go back to the watch face I had previously. Well, I'll do when it ends. Let me search for watch face again, set watch face, and maybe I just wanna go back to like my normal contour watch face right there. I'm gonna hit next, turn off ask when running, done. This is kind of my typical watch face. And so let's start a workout. Let's do start outdoor walking workout. So it's gonna start a workout and let's see what it does to the watch face once it starts. So there my workout started. I'm gonna go back home and now look, it changed to my workout watch face that shows my activity, I can quick access to heart rate and all that kind of stuff. And you see the workout's running. That's why I keep that workout complication there on the watch. Now, when we turn off the workout, it should go back to my contour watch face. So here's a workout again. Let me end it. Let's give it a second. And look at that. Now I went back to my contour watch face because when I ended the workout, that's the automation I have programmed. So those are three pretty simple shortcuts automations that I think you'll find pretty useful. You can set the auto rotation lock to turn off when you open the Photos app auto low power mode when your battery gets below a certain percentage, and change a watch face when you start a workout automatically. If you learned something, hit the like button on this video, and of course, subscribe to the channel. I got tons of content on podcasting, iPhone tips, how to build a website, all of that's right there on the channel. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss a video, and leave a comment below. What would you like to learn about, whether it's shortcuts, Apple Watch, Apple devices, podcasting. I'd love to make more videos on the things that you're interested in. Thanks again for tuning in. You can follow me on Twitter at Stephen Robles. Shoot questions at me there, and I'll catch you next time.